so today blade is going to bring you into her world of what i had to do to refresh my brain on baby sister girl is here summer in the south where her humidity is here she is here she is present she has arrived and she's screaming loud at me do better by your makeup so I discovered from going to that Caribbean festival two weeks ago and right after that I was stuck on the interstate for three and a half hours those two experiences taught me two things one this hair I had to go back and redo because she was dry as a Sahara desert from being out in the Sun and the humidity just for like two three hours as well as my makeup uh, my husband told me when I took off these shades where my shades at took off these shades baby how about I was looking like a raccoon by the eyes because my concealer had run completely down my face I end up thanking God that I had a beauty blender in my purse because I was able to tap 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 and fix it up some but for the most part I just kept my shades on but you know how sometimes you like to do this right here baby I couldn't do that out there because my makeup was running and it was because I only used one so the key to this video and what I'm gonna have to do the key to my brain is remember two two and two because I've changed my um I didn't change it I had to refresh myself on what I was doing last summer to keep this makeup looking good throughout the heat so the first thing that I'm going to say is um I don't think it makes a difference whether you put your concealer on first uh, and then your foundation or your foundation and then your concealer if you it just it really doesn't matter the order that you put it in because I tried both ways okay I've, I've researched this and I'm in the south I can tell you so that part really didn't make a difference and I thought that maybe it would so two two and two what you're gonna discover is in my products because I am a woman of a particular age okay if you are over 30 years old, you need to be using anti-aging products. So the first thing we're going to talk about is your natural skin. If you remember in the neocinamide video, this is anti-aging. But if you remember, the other good thing about neocinamide is that it helps with texture, as in the texture on your skin, smoothing your texture. Smooth texture equals nice, smooth looking makeup. Okay, so... Look at the neocinamide video if you have it. The next, but the first two, two, and two. Keep it, remember it, Blade, remember it. The first two is always your primer. So I'm going to always start off with my, my strong primer. And for me, that is the e.l.f. that's pink. Now, the green one works fine, too. But I'm choosing this pink one because it has 4% neocinamide in it. There goes that word again, anti-aging, but helps with texture. So I'm going to start off with my strongest base. For you all who like the milk, use that. Whatever your strongest primer is, start off with that. Then put another one on top. And the next one needs to just be dependent on what look you want to achieve. So for me, um, I have multiple primers I may put on top. I may use this um, 24 karat gold that I got out of my uh, local beauty supply, Asian beauty supply store. It has golden flakes in it. So I may use this for like a date night or if I'm going somewhere special and I still kind of want like a little illuminating look to my skin, I may put this on top of my e.l.f. Um, if it's like an everyday look, I'm going to work, I'm going to always go with this Revolution Matte. I like this. I think this is only like seven bucks maybe like 750 um this is revolutions mattify fix primer i love this this is what i use on top of my elf just for my everyday look when i'm going to work and uh sometimes i use this elf this elf is called elf tone adjusting face primer brightening lavender i like this one if i want to highlight you know how sometimes we may do our blush and a little highlighter on top where well, this primer right here gives you a natural uh, brightening. So I may put my elf on and then put some right here up under my eyes, right here on the sides up above my, um, where my blush is. Um, anywhere else where you kind of want like a little highlight here, here, 
Okay, so you don't have to put it all over. Just strategically put where you want to highlight. And then I have this other one by NYX. These two by NYX that I just I have no preference really. But this one by NYX is the Bear With Me Jelly Hydrating. And yes, I still use hydrating primers in the summertime because hydration keeps the skin youthful and hydration keeps the makeup looking good. And this one by NYX is the Plump right back. It actually has electrolytes in it too. Electrolytes, vitamins, minerals, anti-aging. Okay. So um, a lot of my stuff is still built around anti-aging. Uh, the second two, or the two, two, and two, is setting powders. Now, I have 52 million of those. I have my Morphe Loose Setting Powder. I have my Laura Mercier Honey Translucent. I have the Laura Mercier um, Medium Deep Translucent. I have my Danessa, Danessa Myrick. You know, this is the balm. This is a this is a bomb that turns into a um, foundation powder, you know, but you can use it to set. You can use it to prime. You can use this for just about everything. You can use it as a foundation, use it for whatever you want to use it for. But because this actually blurs and get rid of, of your pores, you can actually use this as a primer, too. Um, and you can use this as a setting powder. And a foundation. Yeah, and you can use it all. Um, so that should have gone in with the first one too. And also I use this e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. And it's in the color Medium Mowing. Not the real light white one, but this one right here that's kind of tan beige. Works good for um, women of color. Um, and I use this when I want to highlight. So... Use a loose setting powder and then if you really want like a nice flawless finish, you can bake with your setting powder. Get one of your loose setting powders, let it sit for five or 10 minutes, wipe it off or some uh, brush it off with your, uh, with a powder, bl powder brush, uh, something like this. Real techniques. Sometimes I just wipe it away like this. And then some people actually uh, will uh, tap, tap, tap it in. They won't wipe it off. They'll just tap it in and it, it just melts into the skin and it kind of gives you a flawless look. So start off with just regular setting your face. Then you can um, heavy bake or lightly bake if you want to. I will tell you if you have creases or wrinkles, you don't bake because that will make your makeup crease and it will look a fool. Okay? What you can do if you um which is, you know, part 2, if you so loose setting powder, then bake. Except if you have wrinkles or creases. If you have wrinkles or creases, or even if you don't have wrinkles and creases, you can always use a pressed powder on top of your loose setting powder. A lot of people like their Charlotte Tilbury um, pressed powder. Um, me, I just use my Maybelline Fit Me 360 Mocha. Um, it's pressed. As you can see. And... You can use your beauty blender. You can use a brush, whatever you like. I take this and sometimes I'll just set again up in the nose, right up under here. Um, if you have smile lines, like I have a few little smile lines where my smile lines are. And, you know, that helps. So, loose setting. Bake a little bit. If you cannot bake or don't want to bake or should not bake, then just get like a little press powder and then press, okay? This is very affordable. Y'all know this is what a lot of people use to tint their lace. But I use it as a foundation, uh, uh, you know, powder when I'm, cause I don't wear foundation often. So um, the next thing we're gonna do of the two, two and two is two setting sprays. Now, listen to me. 
pay attention because I'm excited about this. Whatever setting spray that you already currently use, we're going to spray with that first. So me, these are the three that I use. So this one right here is by Revolution. It's Revolution Hydrate and Fix Long Well Oil Control, because I'm oily, with hyaluronic acid. Anti-aging product, told y'all. But they were sold out. Two times I went to Ulta, they were sold out of this. So that tells you how good that this really must be. This is primarily what I use when it's um, cold. So when it warmed up and I kept going back and it was sold out, I said, okay, well, let me try Revolution's Energy Fix with um, rose quartz and vitamin B3. So listen, this actually has real rose quartz in it. And if you watched any of my other videos, then you know that rose, oil, water, quartz, rose in general is good for anti-aging. If you remember one of my other uh, videos, I told you all that Native Americans and tribal people have been using rose oil and rose water for anti-aging forever in a day. So, um, you have the rose quartz in here for your anti-aging and you have the vitamin B3 complex in it too, like the not niacinamide, right? So this is a good one. Or sometimes I just pick up my Mario Badescu rose water. I start off setting with all three of these. It, it just depends on which one I pick up. I really have no preference, okay? I pick up and set with one of these. And once I set with one of these, First, now I'm gonna go to a more, um, I would say, expensive setting spray. And for me, I use Urban Decay and Morphe. Um, this Morphe in the um, black can is the um, setting con continuous setting mist. And this was $12 at Ulta. Um, I think the big can is like, 20 or 22 dollars there's a white can i have that one too i really don't have a preference of the white or the black can they both work good okay but the white can is actually a little bit more affordable okay it's usually about two dollars cheaper than this one um or i use urban decay so i'm usually going to use the morphe if i'm going to work I'm gonna use my Revel, one of my revolutions and I'm gonna spray my Morphe if I'm going to work. If I'm going out, and I know I'm gonna be out like in a picnic outside, Caribbean festival, club, dancing type atmosphere, I might choose to, mo to go with my Urban Decay. Now I'm not trying to imply that this works better than Morphe. I'm just saying that I noticed that when I, go out I like to dance so if I dance and I'm a sweat whenever I've used my Urban Decay my makeup still looks good and it's um, not running anywhere it's still set I might be a little glossy but it's still set so I just keep a beauty blender in my purse so I can tap 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 and keep everything you know a little matte so the difference in the Urban Decay is the light one is um, the all nighter ultra ultra matte and then this one right here that's in the um, black one, it's like your regular matte. So like if you are extremely oily, you might want to go for um, this one, this light purple. So I just wanted to tell you that I don't remember the price of the Urban Decay because I bought this last year. But I will tell you that Urban Decay is definitely more expensive than Morphe. <laughs> I don't recall this being $12, baby. This is $12, okay? Whatever your pocket afford, get that all right so y'all that's for that's it for my two two and two but it is one more thing that i want to tell you all that i discovered on accident so this elf blush is called always rosy if you look at the color you can see that it's kind of a peachy color i love this because what the good point of this video is to tell you how to keep your makeup looking, looking good in the heat. And one thing that we all struggle with, y'all, is blush. That's why these are my beauty 
bakery blushes right here i ordered these off of amazon this one is in the color warm berry and this one is in the color brick house right so you can see the difference in the color and this is also my elf um putty blush right here and th you can kind of see the color so you can see these are different colors right so i'll start off with one of these and then I'll put this primer infused elf one on top. That way I kind of can play around with the color of my blush. Sometimes I wear it by itself, a lot of times I do, but if I want to spice it up, just depending on my outfit, I'll put one of these on first and then I'll put this on top. And typically the way I do it is when I put this one on, I pat on top, just like this. And once I pat it in on top, um, what I'm trying to tell you is I do that while I'm letting my setting spray dry. And it doesn't matter which step you're on, whether you're on the first setting spray or whether you're on the second setting spray, it doesn't matter. Whenever I spray, let's say I'm, I'm, doing, I'm ending it. All right, I'm on my second setting spray and I'm and about to be done with my makeup. What I'm gonna do is go back in with my e.l.f. because I've already put this one of these blushes on first. I'm gonna go back in with my e.l.f. I'm gonna put it on here and while my face is literally still wet, I'm gonna do just like this with that primer infused blush. And then I might take a fan and dry it, or I might actually take my blow dryer on cool and go ahead on and dry it and seal everything on in. It just depends on how big, how much of a rush I'm in. Y'all, this primer infused will make your blush last all day and all night. I'm telling you, I've been doing this for a long time with this e.l.f blush and I'm telling you all this because if you all know of any other primer infused blushes can you please tell me um elf doesn't make a lot of blushes that are primer infused it's just this one and it's another one that they have that doesn't match my skin tone not for melanated people at all so if there's anybody else out there any other brands that already have primer infused um, blushes please 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 let me know because that's the point of the channel y'all everybody's supposed to be educating everybody all right um i think that's it so um i'm in the middle of shooting two videos at the same time mm -mm 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 -mm. at the same time okay we future over here um I'm letting the hair dry right now, okay? Uh, because I have me a new bra, y'all. Kalahi. <laughs> and I'm letting her dry because I'm getting ready to go put her on and I'm getting ready to be crude. Real crude. You just want your makeup to sit and stay throughout the summer. Do those two primers and the two setting sprays and you should be just fine. Only do the two setting powders if you're really trying to get that flawless under eye Angela Bassett look, okay? Once again, thank you for tuning in and come back. Bring your arses back. And I'll see y'all later. God bless. Bye. Everything, every day. Cut you off slowly, the point is I'm growing I'm facing my demons this time Ain't thinking about doing you wrong Like you're doing me wrong all the time